Hey there, this is Jenny from Southern Savers. It's time for Rite Aid week three. Now, if you're just tuning in, I have been going to Rite Aid every week during the month of May. So go ahead and go back and watch week one and watch week two, uh, and then come back and watch week three because the fun part is seeing how we earn rewards and then use those rewards the next week to get even more stuff. Now this week in Rite Aid, there were a ton of deals that I wanted to get that ended up being a great week, but meant that I had to spend a little bit more money because remember, Rite Aid plus up rewards, I earn them today, but I cannot use them until tomorrow. And most sane people are not gonna go to Rite Aid multiple times a week. So you're gonna end up doing one big transaction. You may end up owing money because I can't use some rewards from a few deals to pay for more deals. So this week I did owe money, uh, but I have a ton of plus up rewards to use again next week. Now I came into this week with $11 in plus ups from week two. This week, to give you our totals before we break things down, we spent in the store $21.34, that's after last week's plus up rewards, and then we earned a whopping $27 in plus up rewards to use next week. So really I'm ahead there. I spent 21 and left with 27 to spend the next time I'm in the store. Uh, so that's kind of fun. You just have to be okay with spending the 21. This isn't like CVS where I could have bought these items, used these rewards to buy more items and never paid real money. It just doesn't always work out that way in Rite Aid. So what do we get this week? To start, free toothpaste. There's always free toothpaste. That's the fun part about drugstore deals. This week, Colgate Total Toothpaste is on sale for $3.49 a box. The limit is two. And you can use a dollar coupon. You'll pay $2.49 and get back a $2.50 plus up reward. So in the end, you really made a penny to buy the deal. Uh, there was a 50 cent coupon in the Sunday paper, but some of you, myself included, may have a $2 off two Colgate coupon that you found in an in-store dispenser. So I found it in one of the blinky machines in a Publix. It's still a manufacturer's coupon. I'm gonna turn around and use it in Rite Aid and get free toothpaste this week. So that's the first one. The next one, this is the fun part about drugstores. You're gonna buy some things you have never thought you needed before. So this week we can get daily wound and foot wash for free. Cost $10, you're gonna get a $10 plus up back. So it's completely free, but the fun part is it's really a money maker because there's a $1 off Rite Aid video value coupon. Watch a one minute video, that was a long one, um, or go clean a dish and come back. Uh, at the end of it, you're gonna have a $1 off coupon. So now I paid $9 and I got back a $10 plus up reward for that. And then the last big one um, that we're gonna talk about for a second is Suave. And this deal, to give you a huge warning, is not working right in the store. The deal is you buy $6 worth of Suave and you get a $2 plus up reward. The plus up reward is not printing. Uh, so just be ready for that. I bought $12.41 worth of Suave, two shampoos and two twin packs of deodorant and then started using coupons. I had two $1.50 printable coupons and then two 50 cent coupons off the deodorant that had come in the Sunday paper. In the end, that was $8.41 total due, and then I'm gonna get back a $4 plus up reward. So I paid $4.41 for all of this, which, I mean, that's really six products in the end. Uh, comes out to about 75 cents a product. Be ready though, the plus up rewards probably won't print on your receipt either. The solution, you've gotta call 1-800-RIDE-AID. They will fix it, but be ready for this one because Rite Aid isn't the most technologically savvy. They don't put the plus up rewards on your receipt. Instead, they're going to mail you a plus up reward. So you can turn around and use that plus up reward in a week or so, but you don't have it to use anytime soon. So this really was a big week. Here's the rest of what we grabbed. St. Joseph Aspirin, this is a super easy one, guys. The Sunday paper had a $1 off coupon for St. Joseph's Aspirin. It's on sale this week for $2. Use your $1 off coupon. You're gonna pay a dollar and you're gonna get a dollar plus up reward right back. The limit is two, so grab both of them. 
Clear Eyes, another fun money maker. This is on sale for $4.99 and you've got a $1.50 Rite Aid video value coupon plus a $1 coupon from a recent Sunday insert. That's $2.50 off. So you're gonna pay $2.49 and then you're gonna get back a $3 plus up reward. You just made 50 cents to buy it. Uh, and then the last one, and this guy is not a money maker or a freebie, but it was things that my family will use at a super cheap price. So you buy $10 worth of really Unilever brand food. So Lipton, Hellman's, Ragu, there are, are a couple varying products uh, beyond there. I went Lipton and Ragu because those are the products that we'll use. Uh, buy $10 worth and then get a $3 plus up reward. Well, that $10 is always before coupons. So we had coupons from the Sunday paper for Lipton tea, 60 cents off each one of them. So that's $1.20 off. And then I had two printable coupons for a dollar off two Ragu products. So in the end, that's $10 and 66 cents worth of product because it's on sale, buy one, get one, which is pretty fun already. It's $10 and 66 cents worth of products and then I'm gonna use coupons that bring it down to cost $7.46 after the coupons. And then I'm gonna get back a $3 plus up reward. So I've really paid $4.46 for all of this or around 75 cents a piece, which is a great price uh, for any of these products compared to the regular price in the store. So again, this is a massive amount of stuff. Let's see if I can put it all to where you can see it. We spent right around $21 in the store after plus up rewards for everything. That's a lot of stuff. Total in Rite Aid, this would be probably over 90 bucks. Uh, but we spent $21 and we left with $27 in plus up rewards to use on our last week of Rite Aid shopping. Will I continue shopping in Rite Aid after this month? Uh, that's up for debate, um, but I have enjoyed it and we're definitely getting a ton of stuff.